All right, ladies. Well, thank you for joining us on our Thursday night fierce unit meeting. Um, I appreciate all of you. I love, I love seeing like the array of like people, you know, we have California being represented, Las Vegas, Alaska, and Arizona. Um, and Shannon may, well, I'm not going to say may, she has a new team member coming on from Hawaii the next couple of days. She knows what I'm talking about. She's going to be signing. We're going to have Hawaii in the house too. Like, hello, going coast to coast. Um, so thanks ladies for joining. I was not recording earlier and Tara made an announcement. So I'm just going to repeat what she said. So Tara had a really big win already this week. You guys, she sold $400. What? $400 this week? No big deal. No, no, no big deal. $400. Um, but I also want to recognize a couple of you as well for some huge wins. So Rayanne added her first team member. Um, this past week. Congratulations, Rianne. Um, Miss Monique added her first team member for the month of July. She's not stopping. This girl, wait, she's on this side. She added, um, she added six people last week, y'all, or last month. Six people. Shut the front door. Um, oh my gosh, Shay. You guys, I gotta give a huge shout out to Shay who just joined us. Her wedding is on Saturday, you guys. Can we just like, let's just clap for her. She can't hear us, but let's just clap. She's gonna be getting married July 11th. Woo! Woo! And then um, Dakota added a new team member. We were clapping for you, Shay, because your wedding's on the 11th. I'm for you. I'm so sorry. We say congratulations on you getting married. Yay, I'm going crazy, but thank you. She's also in Las Vegas, too. You see a trend here, you guys? I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, um, so um, and then Dakota just added a new team member today, too. Go with Dakota. We've already added three new un unit members this month. I love it. The goal is 15, you guys. So um, keep having people fill out the survey. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you where to find it, okay? All you have to do on our unit page, there's a little search bar. You type in there, survey. <laughs> It takes you to the survey. It's that simple, okay? I really try with my post to like put a title. That way if you need to search for something, just type it in there. Um, a couple of you have been asking about facial boxes. Just type facial boxes in the search bar and everything pertain pertaining to the facial boxes will come up, okay? So that, that's how easy it is. But um, a couple announcements. Um, I know that Monique is registered. I know Shannon, you're registered for sem uh, virtual seminar. You're, no? Yes. Maybe. Okay. I know Dakota is. I know Tara is. I know Lizette just registered. I don't know if anybody else I'm missing to mention registered. If you have not registered for virtual seminar, please register. Uh, Friday tomorrow is the last day. Uh, virtual seminar, it's 45 bucks. And um, you don't want to miss out on this, you guys. It's going to be three days. The dates are listed on our unit page. Again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about in the search bar, type seminar. <laughs> um, but there's three dates in, in August. I want to say it's like the 20th, 21st, 22nd. Um, it's going to be done all virtually and there's going to be tons of information. So you're going to hear from top sales directors, top nationals. They're just going to pour into us tons of training. Um, there's also going to be oh, right. And, uh, just register to whoop, whoop, go right at man. It's like all of you. My heart is filled with so much joy. Um, you guys don't want to miss Mary Kay events. I'm personally speaking from experience. There there's been a couple times I've had a miss and it was horrible. You guys, like I actually earned on one of, um, it was leadership this year in January. Leadership's just for directors. Every year it's a different location. This in January this past this year, um, we went to Orlando, Florida, and I just couldn't. I didn't make it a priority to go. I'll just leave it at that. Didn't make it a priority to go, and I was one of only two sales directors in our area that earned private access to Universal Studios, and I chose not to go. What? This is why it's important to go to things, okay? So don't miss a virtual seminar, three days, like jam-packed full of stuff. There's gonna be like awards, giveaways. Like our company loves, like me, giveaways. If you guys didn't catch Monique's opening of her box that she earned from me of my Amazon stuff, check it out on our unit page. I can tell that she liked my stuff. So um, 
yeah, don't miss virtual seminar. I won at one of our company events, they did a giveaway and I'm not big into purses, but it's this cute little clutch. It's all hand beaded from Italy. It's like a $300 purse. I'm not complaining. Okay. Cause I wouldn't spend that personally. So don't miss it. Um, speaking about, um, recruiting again, don't forget about the survey. I'm going to show you here in a second in case you're like completely lost on where to find that. So simple. The contest is still going on. The top consultant for the first half of July that has the most people fill it out. I'm going to send you a box. Like I sent to Monique with my favorite five things from Amazon. And as you can see from the video she posted today, I give really good gifts, you guys. Really good gifts. By the way, Monique, your earrings I just sent out today that you earned. So you'll be getting those. I'm wearing a pair. Um, <laughs> Sierra's joining us. Yay! So keep having people fill out those surveys, you guys. Like, especially those of you that are brand new in your business, don't let your bestie coupons go to waste. Don't let them go to waste, you guys. Like at least get people to sign. Or use your $25 off Bestie coupon. Like a minimum, I, like I told you guys, your first consultant, you move up into your first promotion, which is senior consultant. Then your big promotions at three team members, you go into Red Jacket, hence why you have three Bestie coupons. And you jump from 4% commission to 8% commission. Like just do it, just do it. We have two Red Jackets currently in our unit and that is Crystal and Monique. Woo, woo, woo. I would love like the rest of you joining, all of you to be in red jackets, like a sea of red. I would love that. Um, so PCP, not the drug, preferred customer program, okay? I have to clarify, people are like, is she advocating? No, I am not. But <laughs> PCP, preferred customer program, is where you, I'm gonna show you where that is tonight. And that is where you go on and you add customers for the company to send a catalog to them. So we come out with a new catalog every single, season or quarter per se. So it's fall, summer, winter, um, spring, and we come out with a holiday catalog. So there's five different catalogs um, a year. And unfortunately this past quarter summer because of COVID, our vendor was shut down. So we did not have physical catalogs. So we've kind of been working through that, right? We were catalog, that sort of thing. So um, they are, fortunately we will have catalogs coming out. Um, you have till July 17th to register your customers. The reason why you want to register your customers is through the company, it's only 70 cents a catalog and they include a free sample, 70 cents a catalog. So be smart. Do not send this to every freaking customer that's ordered like a mascara from you. Uh, I think a smart rule is if your customer has ordered a hundred dollars or more, I would send them a catalog or feel free. You can take what I've posted on Facebook about the catalog see who's interested in one, right? So you can kind of narrow it down, but I'm going to share with you where that's at. So I'm going to log on to my Mary Kay and touch real quick. Hopefully you all can see this. So it's under business tools and it's called preferred customer program. And this is where you can create update a customer list. Okay. I'm going to click on it. This list, you guys, you can either add them here or if you get um, website orders, it automatically, when they register, that's why I like my customers to register, it's everybody who's under your customer list or that you've inputted into your My Customers app, okay? So going back to what I just showed you, so under Business Tools, Preferred Customer Program, Create Update Customer List, you can just manually put, put them in here or if they're already in here, then literally all you do is you just start clicking on them and it adds it. Okay. But just keep in mind again, it's 70 cents per catalog. The first time I did this, I felt it necessary to send it to everybody and I spent like $140. Don't be like me. Okay. Don't be like me. Um, and then I was sharing with you ladies earlier on our unit page, just how easy it is to search for things. So right here in the search bar where it says search for this group, if you just type in the survey, It's going to pop up the survey. This is the most recent one. You click on it and poof, here's the script to send out you guys. And the survey is right there. Like literally just copy paste it. The survey, you might have to click on it and save the link and then repost it. Um, but super easy, like send it out to everybody. And so the first half of the month through July 15th, whoever has the most filled out, will get the gift from me from Amazon. The second half, I'll do the same thing for the top consultant. So it could be the same consultant both times. Or it could just be one, okay? So keep that in mind. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys, and it's kind of leading into what the bulk of our um, training is on tonight, is getting bookings. So I just posted this today. 
And I did this earlier last month, but I didn't really keep up with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of lost focus. So I'm redoing it. And I know it sounds silly, but it says I'm running for Miss Mary Kay USA, right? And I even posted down below a blank template that you guys can literally save and put your picture on it. So I'm going to show you what mine looks like on my personal page. Here it is. Oh, I know my pretty dress. Um, so literally you guys can put what I, what I've posted, make sure you change the state though. Mine says California. So if you're not in California, make sure you say outside of Nevada, outside of Alaska, wherever you're located. Right. But literally this says pretty much in a nutshell, tag someone that you think would want some free skincare and makeup samples. What a great way for you guys to build your business. You're asking your current friends to refer somebody to you. Isn't that what we already do, but you're doing it through social media? Like how simple. So my senior sales director, Megan, just did this today. She's had 49 comments, you guys, already. 49 comments, okay? And I'm not going to say that every single one of them is going to respond back to you, but what a great way to build your business. So take advantage of that. So tonight is all about bookings, like how to get the appointment, how to keep up with it. So um, one other thing I wanted to show you real quick before I stop sharing my screen with you is back on our unit page. I keep referring back to this, but I really want to reiterate it tonight because it's going to help you with your booking. So it is called the 21 day booking challenge. So in the search bar, just type 21 day. And it is going to bring you to this. And if we had more time on this meeting, I would make you all watch it, but I'm not going to make you do that. <laughs> but if you click on this, it's going to take you to this YouTube video. Okay. These two women are sales directors in our area. They came up with this concept. So the whole point of a 21 day booking challenge is keeping track of your leads essentially and how to follow up with them. So I know it sounds crazy. I've heard this recently from a lot of consultants. I know a lot of you are brand new. Crystal, I don't want to reach out to them more than once because I'm bugging them. Well, statistically speaking, you guys, 81% of people, 81% of people will not respond till the fifth or sixth time. So if you're only reaching out to them one time, you're not going to get bookings. It's going to be very hard for you to get bookings. Okay. So this 21 day booking challenge. There's actually a PDF that goes with it as well. I'm going to show you where you find that print it out and have it with you. It's a really great resource. I still, after four years of my business, you guys, I utilize this. It's really, really helpful. So watch the video. It goes hand in hand with the PDF. And I'm going to show you where the PDF is that you want to print out. So it's under files on our fierce unit. And you just look for where it says 21 day booking. I'm going to find it for you right here. 21 day booking challenge. It's a PDF. I would say print it in color if you want to. If not, print it black and white. That's fine. But it really breaks it down. The great thing with this is, I'll show you a couple things. Look, right here, it statistically breaks it down. 2% of sales happen on the first contact, only 2%. 3% happen on the second, 4% happen on the third contact, 10% happen on the fourth, and 81% of bookings and sales happen on the fifth contact or after. The reason for this, you guys, is not because you break them down and they get annoyed with you. It's because we are busy individuals. And so this really helps you to, this is going to teach you that it's not okay to just text message someone. You need to text and call them. And we can all relate to this. How many times have you received a text message you thought you responded and you're like, oh crap, I didn't respond. It happened to me the other day and I felt so bad because you know, you, I really try to get back with you guys. Shannon boxed me on Tuesday. I barely saw it today. I was like, oh crap. Because I, in my head, I listened to it and I thought I responded and I didn't. So think if it's happening to you, it's happening to others. So if you only send a text message, right, you're missing out on that opportunity for there's someone that picks up the phone and vice versa. So you always want to do both. And this teaches you how to do both. Um, in addition, there's these sheets that break down Monday through Sunday. And I would say print out a bunch of these and keep them in a notebook. This is for you to track your leads, like whether it's a referral, you're getting them from a facial box or somebody who referred you on Facebook. And you, you keep track of them and you keep track of how many times you've contacted them. And then the best part of this, you guys, the best part, I'm going to keep scrolling is this section and there's several pages. So it tells you what to text and what to say in a voicemail, depending on where the, the contact's coming from. So if they're a referral from a customer, it tells you what to say in a voicemail, what to send in a text message. Um, and then it breaks it down. Like if they answer, 
than what to say on your phone call. Um, if you're a seasoned consultant, what to send in a text message, what to say on a voicemail. Um, if you're a new consultant, um, if it's a warm chat lead, warm chat is when you're out and about. Best way it starts with a genuine compliment um, is Let's say you're at a fast food restaurant getting your food and she gave you the best freaking service. You're a Starbucks and you say, hey, you are so sweet. I would love to gift you a Mary Kay beauty experience. Have you ever had one? She'll either say yes or no. She says, no, oh my gosh, they're awesome. Let me text you my virtual business card and I'll call you in a couple days to go over the details and get something set up. But she says, yes, and you can say, wasn't it amazing? How long has it been? If it's been a while, then be like, I would love, we have some new products for you to um, try out some of our new products. Let me text you my virtual business card. A virtual business card I make through Pick Collage. If any of you want it, privately message me. I'll send it to you. Super simple. There's a picture with my information, and I text it to them. And see, what I'm doing is I'm texting it to them. That way I have their name and number, right? I have their contact information. I can follow up with them in a couple days. So that's a warm chat lead. That's probably the one that makes most people nervous, but, um, trust me, you guys, like I've, I've gotten like 10 warm chats in one day. It's, it's great. And then cold leads would be like leads who you haven't contacted in a while, or these can also be from like facial boxes, but lots of information in here. You guys, please print it out, watch the video. I would love to hear from you guys when you have, and tell me your thoughts. Like, oh my gosh, Crystal, I'm in love with this. It was so helpful. Again, I still utilize it. It's really, really, really great. Um, so when you book an appointment, make sure you're also asking, and there's a booking script and I've slacked on this. And again, please give me grace, you guys. Okay. I'm going to get it done tonight. You have my word, but I'm going to revamp the booking script that we have in our unit because it's a little outdated because it still says that you can offer them a studio. We don't have a studio and right now with COVID. We want it to reflect either an in-home or a virtual. Okay. So depending on what you're offering, some of you are only doing virtuals and that's fine. Okay, but I want to redo the script. So you read through the booking script that's on our file tab. You get the appointment booked. Now what? Well, first off, make sure you're really encouraging them to invite guests. Okay, but make it exciting. You know, when I tell them like, hey, as an added perk, you get to invite five of your friends to join you. How exciting is that? You probably are missing some of the friends and family that you've been, you haven't been able to see during lockdown. Um, now you get to invite them. So you can either see them virtually or in the comfort of your home. Um, and I even put it in my confirmation text. Hey, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. I have your pampering session scheduled for such and such date. Um, I will follow up with you. And I always follow up with them within 48 hours to get their guest list. This is really important, 48 hours. Don't give them a whole year to get back to you guys, okay? 48 hours, and I tell them. So if I booked an appointment today, I tell them I'm following up with them Saturday. And I put that in the text message. I will follow up with you on Saturday to obtain your guest list. Don't forget you can invite five guests. Like, see how I did that? I brought it up in the phone conversation. It's now in my text message as well, okay? So really, like, encourage them to invite guests. The reason for that, one-on-one -on -one appointments are great, you guys. They're fantastic. But if that's all you're doing, you're limiting your time. You're not making the best use of your time. You have 10 appointments on your calendar, but if you're only seeing one-on-ones at each one of those, that's only 10 faces you're seeing. Versus each one of them, if they bring at least three guests, right, then you've, you've tripled or you've yeah, we tripled that. You've gone from 10 faces to 30, right? That, that, that's huge. Um, so once you book the appointment, make sure you send them a confirmation text right then and there. Um, there's a pre-profiling script that I send. Um, I've bumped it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, again, look in the search bar on our unit page. There's a picture that you can add. It's, it's actually a flyer with five different skincare questions on it, and you can add your picture to it. Okay. And that's what I send. It's pre profiling questions that ask like, what's your skin type? The last question on it is, are you willing to watch a video for an extra goodie bag? And that's a great way to figure out if people are interested in the business opportunity before you even see and connect with them. And that pre profiling really breaks it down too. if they say that there are three or higher after watching the video, then you send them a set of questions. Some of you that are my personal consultants, you probably remember that pre profiling script and you're like, Oh, I remember watching that video. And I told her I was like a four or five. Right. So it kind of like allows you to know ahead of time before the facial party, if that person has interest in the business opportunity. So you pre-profile them, then you make sure in two days, within 48 hours, you follow up with them to get their guest list. Okay. If I do not hear from them, I'm immediately following up with them the next date with a phone call and a text message. And then if I don't hear from them, then I'm following up with them on the third day in a voicemail text message. And that third time I'm following up with them, I'm telling if I don't hear back from you today, 
we will need to reschedule. And the reason for that is you guys know way ahead of time of the appointment, whether it's going to hold or not, right? If they're not getting back to you with a guest list, then that's not looking so good, right? And you haven't allowed a whole week to go. And I would highly suggest from personal experience, do not book further out than two weeks. I know I've had people like, can you book in August? Come on, you guys. Only try to book out two weeks in advance. I've had people, if they're really adamant, they have like a specific date, like in July, and it's toward the end of July. If you're comfortable with it, fine, but you need to keep with the communication. So follow up with them every few days. Hey, I'm so excited. I've been making your swag bags. Or hey, I just mailed out your pampering kits today. Let me know when you get them in. Like keep up with the communication because if you don't, they forget you. Okay. That's why it's really important only do two weeks ahead of time. And I tell them that I'm like, I had somebody um, that was supposed to have an appointment with me this weekend. And she said, Oh my gosh, can we book something in August? I said, you know what? Unfortunately, I only booked two weeks in advance. If you're really adamant about it, I can follow up with you towards the end of July. I'll make a note and we, and I can share my schedule with you then for August. She said, fine. So that's what I did. I made a note on my calendar to follow up with her at the end of July about booking for August. I'm not going to book it now. Okay. And then, um, so you ask for your guest list, make sure you reach out to your guest and pre-profiling them. And then this is really important. Make sure you're confirming the day before your appointment that it's holding. Okay. Make sure you're confirming the day before. Um, it doesn't happen often, but I've gotten ghosted before. Okay. I've knocked on their door. <laughs> There's no one home. <laughs> Okay. And she had confirmed with me a couple days before. So from personal experience, <laughs> confirm the day before, confirm the day before. Okay. Very, very important. And make sure at your parties, you're asking for referrals. You guys don't, this is really important. Don't be scared to ask for referrals. Okay. If you need further help with that, all of you have been a part of my pampering sessions. I think the majority of you, um, when I do your first parties for you. I always ask for referrals. Like it's really important. Don't be scared to ask for referrals, right? It's a great way. They're referring you to their friends and family and they're entrusting in you. So don't be scared of that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys. Don't forget about my contest. There's several contests going on, right? So the most amount of surveys, first half of the month from now until July 15th, you get a little goodie box for me. If you want to see what awesomeness I send you, check out Monique's video she posts on our unit page. Um, there's also the other contest for a hundred dollars in cash, hundred dollars free cash, you guys. Woo -woo. So, um, for every time you add a team member this month, you get a raffle into winning a hundred dollars cash for me. Okay. So more team members you add, the more chances, a hundred dollars cash in your pockets. I don't know about you. I'll take a hundred bucks. So if you don't want it, that's fine. Um, and I feel like I want to do something else. So I got this really cute gift. Well, it was actually a star prize and I actually got it to give to one of you guys. I'm just going to give it to one of you guys. So whoever sees the most faces this month, that's what we're going to make it is going to get this for me. So I'm just going to show you. It's super cute. It comes with a pair of sunglasses and I'm sorry, I'm going to unwrap them so you can see them. So, um, let me just show you real quick. So these are the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. I know you guys want them. So these can be yours and it comes with this really cute fluffy like blanket. And it's pink and it's knitted and it's soft. Okay. Monique wants it. I already saw her. So whoever sees the most faces is going to get this from me. And you have to make sure to get credit post pictures in our unit page. If you don't post pictures, it doesn't count. Okay. If you guys don't want it, I'll keep it. I'm just saying. It comes with a cute little pouch for your sunglasses too. It's super cute, you guys. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think Tara wants it too. I saw her looking at it like, mm -hmm, see, she wants it. I see Crystal wearing the sunglasses too. And Lizette, all of you. Mm -hmm. Rianne's like, mm -hmm, it's my, like this thing, I wish I could take it out. It's soft. It's like, I don't know. It's like, it's really soft. Okay. So that is it. I'm going to have Sierra do our new product feature tonight. And then um, if you guys want to stay on because you have questions, just kind of like comment below. Let me know like, hey, I have a question. Um, so Miss Sierra, are you available? Oh, you got to unmute yourself, girl. You got to unmute yourself. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, let me just walk to my car. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm walking. Thank you guys for your patience. I've been listening to the whole meeting while 
I was cleaning the store with my wonderful coworker. She works at the cutest store, you guys. If you live in Las Vegas, it's called Call to Surf. Go Woo-hoo. visit. Her. It's like the cutest store ever. If you're in Barstow and you go to Vegas, go see her. Yep. Okay. Just don't, just don't, don't say that she had bad customer service. Say that she was amazing. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm ready whenever you guys are. Go for it. Tell us the product that you're featuring tonight. Tell us all about it. Okay. So I wanted to, I've been thinking about this a very long time, and I wanted to do the lash primer, particularly because I'm a very, like, lash person. I know I'm not wearing makeup, so this is very awkward, but I love my lashes, and I love doing lashes, et cetera, and et cetera. And um, Crystal said, it's okay that you don't know anything about makeup or skincare when joining Mary Kay. So I really felt that in my heart because I don't know anything about makeup. So I had to look up what a primer was. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. So that's why the lash primer kind of like spoke to me. So, oh, oh, sorry, I got to catch my breath. So as I was doing my research, what a lash primer is, all you do is um, you just put it on your lashes before you put on your mascara. Like it sounds pretty simple. So the, well, the reason why the Mary Kay Lash Primer is super cool is because it quick dries. It has a quick drying formula that makes your eyelashes look fuller. And you just put it underneath your mascara. It strengthens and conditions your lashes. It helps lifts and curls for, like, it makes your lashes curl for longer, if that makes sense. And then um, you wear this, you can wear it alone for a natural look. So that's super cool too. And then I also got a lot of the ingredients. It had like three made ingredients for it that I don't know how to pronounce. So sorry already. It said like glycerin helps conditions and smooths. And so when you, the glycerin in the last primer adds attraction and re- retains moisture in your eyelashes. The aloe leaf juice helps soothe it, which makes your, like, it brings calming properties. And then this is the one I have no idea how to say, but it's like alitone, alitone, something like that. But it's a conditioner that improves the appearance of your skin. So that's super nice, too. And then um, we kind of talked about this before a little bit. So you just... Put it at the base of your lash and then you just like whoosh, whoosh it up so it goes from root to top and then something that i thought was super cool that's why i'm sharing it is on the website it actually i wrote it down it gave like percentages of like what people said about the product i don't know if you guys can see it so i'm going to read it it said 93 percent of people just like how it helped the mascara go smoother and easier on 87% of the people said that their lashes held their curl better. 85% of people just said it improved their mascara wear. And then 84% just said that their lashes were more visible. So we love that. And then 82% said that lash, the lashes feel healthy and are conditioned as it fortifies the lashes. So the product seems really cool and if you guys like lashes like I do you should get your lash primer to help your mascara go on better and make your lashes more visible yeah thank you so much Sierra when are you gonna try it um as soon as I get paid it does make a difference you guys hands down like I again clueless like when I first started Mary Kay and they started talking about primer I'm like my face is not a wall I do not know what you were trying to do. You're not painting anything. Okay. You guys are laughing, but I'm being serious, but it makes a difference. So I just recently started using the lash primer with our awesome Fanorama mascara, which I'm totally obsessed with. And it does make a difference on my lashes. I noticed like it's helping them curl. Um, and just overall, like the appearance is even more better. So thank you so much for sharing Sierra. And it's a great way to like, um, it's really a great way to upsell 
So if somebody buys a mascara, this is a great opportunity for you guys to be like, oh my gosh, since you're getting a mascara, I really highly recommend a lash primer. Have you ever used it? Because it does X, Y, and Z. Like Sarah's giving you some information now, some background. And so it's a great way to upsell. That's why we do these product uh, knowledge or features, right? So that you guys know like how you can kind of like combine different products together. Um, and I do recommend like if they do um, do a mascara, recommend the lash primer. So um, I kind of just want to open this up. If you guys have any questions, I want to kind of open up the floor because if you have the question, somebody else might have the same one. Um, before we kind of dive in, Miss Shannon, I'm volunteering you to do our product feature next week. <laughs> She's like, oh, dang it. So Shannon is next week. Yes. So Shannon, just think about any products. Maybe something you want to know about. You don't have to have the personally in stock. If you do and you want to like slap it on your face to show it, you're more than welcome to. Um, but you can get back to me like closer to next week on what you want to do. Okay. So I'm going to kind of open it up to the floor. Um, I'll kind of just call upon you. If you don't have questions, that's cool. If um, it's something personally you want to discuss offline, feel free to just box me. Um, so Monique, do you have any questions about anything we've discussed? No? No questions? No. Okay. Shannon, do you have any questions? Oh, it's your birthday. Dang it. Okay. So Shannon, so Lizette, you're doing our product feature next week. Okay. All right. Lizette, you're up. So then Shannon, guess what? You're the following week. Okay. Perfect. Um, Lizette, do you have any questions for me? No. Okay. Dakota, any questions? You gotta unmute yourself, girl. What was the date again for the um, the team members? Or for the faces? Oh, faces? Um, For the rest of the month, whoever has the most faces. Oh, you okay. want the sunglasses, don't you? Girl, I got you. I'm gonna get the sunglasses <laughs> and a blankie, girl. <laughs> mm, you know I'm cold, all right? I'm over here in 130 weather, I'm freezing. Okay. You guys, I got, I gotta, I love you, Dakota. But like, literally, you guys, we'll be on a Zoom. She's in in Vegas, and she's like, "I need a blanket." I'm like, "It's 120 there." I'm so confused. Um, I'm always cold all the time. So, um, Rayanne, do you have any questions? Okay, uh, Tara, do you have any questions? I think Tara's frozen. She'll come on if she needs questions. Crystal, do you have any questions? Nope. Sierra, questions? Nope. And we didn't get to introduce Nina is one of our newest unit members. Woo -woo, Nina, thanks for joining us. She's Monique's newest consultant. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any questions, Miss Nina? Um, not that I could think of right now. All I probably right. will text you later on in like 20 minutes. Like, hey, I forgot this. But <laughs> you guys know, I want to reiterate this because I've shared this with you guys. You guys are more than welcome to um, box me at, I know some of you work like evening shifts, some of you are night owls, you stay up till like two, three o'clock in the morning and get like two hours of sleep each night. Um, but you guys can box me at any time of the day. Don't worry, you're not gonna wake me. If if you have like a burning question, like you can't sleep at night, you're like, I gotta ask Crystal, um, feel free, you can box me. If I'm asleep, my phone's on silent, so you won't wake me, okay? Um, and I will box you when I'm up in the morning. So feel free, you guys are not bothering me. But thank you so much. A few of you were super kind, reached out to me with the whole situation with my dad and I appreciate you guys for just your understanding your kind words I love you guys keep doing what you're doing I'm so freaking proud of you I'm so excited to see this momentum that we've created um, and I love seeing your gorgeous faces so um, if you have any questions you know you guys can reach out to me I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening thanks for just popping on